Hi everyone, it's me, Mrs. Schreiber. Welcome to Wednesday's math lesson. This week we've been learning about subtracting numbers, three digit numbers in particular. So subtraction problems that are less than a thousand. And today what I'm responsible for teaching you is um, we're gonna learn how to subtract from a multiple of 100. Our numbers are getting big. In case you don't know what a multiple of 100 is, it's any number, any three digit number that has a zero in the ones place and a zero in the tens place. So, you know, 100, 200, 300. Yep, that's right. 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. So today we're subtracting from those numbers. Okay. Now, there are a couple of ways, like all math, that you can do this, but I'm going to show you two ways. One way is the mental strategy, which all second graders are expected to know and learn. And the other way is the vertical form, that paper and pencil way. So um, I, if I was doing this, I've trained my brain. So I would use the mental math. And sometimes we draw out that mental thinking with arrows. So I would say 600 minus 438 I would start at the number 600 and first I would think, okay, 600 minus 400 is, can you help me boys and girls? What is 600 minus 400? Oh, I heard some of you. That's right. It's 200. Very good. And so I subtracted the 400. Now I'm going to subtract 30 from 200, this is why knowing our ways to make 10 helps us, right? 30 less than 200, do you know what it is? Can you count back three tens, boys and girls? Yeah, 190, 180, 170, very good. And then I've got eight ones left to subtract. So 170 minus eight, What's that? Yep, I hear some of you counting backwards by ones. Good. Okay, very good. It's 162. Now, as an adult, I can do this mentally, and some of you who have trained your brains can do it too. You can think, okay, 600 minus 400 is 200, 200 minus 30 is 170. 170 minus eight is 162. And you can do it that way, and that's fantastic. That's one way to do it, and we've spent a lot of time on these mental strategies this year. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You can get the same answer, but just a different way. Last week we talked about it's so important that you stack these numbers on top of each other. And what I'm here to tell you today is it's very important that you always, when you're doing subtraction, start with that first number in the equation because that's the greatest number. And when you do subtraction, you have to start with the greatest number. So we've got 600 minus 438. Notice I stacked my ones on top of ones, tens on top of tens, and hundreds on top of hundreds. Very important to line those up correctly. One of the things that happens whenever we go to do this in um, vertical form, which is why I don't prefer to do it in vertical form, is something called crossing the zeros. So we have that subtraction poem, which Mr. Martin and Mrs. Bowser, I think, have been using with you. So by now you should know it. More on the top. That's right. No need to stop. More on the floor. Yep. Go next door and get 10 more. Numbers the same? That's right, zero's the game. Okay, and what happens is when we are subtracting from a multiple of 100, because multiples of 100 always have zero tens and zero ones, guess what? Usually there's gonna be more on the floor unless there's a zero down here. Okay, so it gets a little tricky and you have to regroup a couple of times. So watch very carefully, boys and girls, because when you are subtracting from a multiple of 100, you have to cross the zero. And as you get older, you're going to have to cross more zeros in numbers like 1,000 and 
30,000. Okay, but it all starts here today. We always start where whenever we're ready to do the math in vertical form, boys and girls. Yep, we always start in the ones place. So when we look in the ones place, we see that we have zero minus eight. And if you know that subtraction poem, or if you just know anything about subtraction, if you have nothing, if I have no starburst, can I give Judah eight? No, I can't because I don't have anything. When you don't have anything to give, you just can't give it. So more on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more. But when I come next door, I have a, ah, I know, I have another zero, nothing to give here. So what am I going to do? Guess what? If I go to this neighbor's house and they're not home and I can't get what I need from them, I can go to the next neighbor's house. I can go over here. And my 600s can become 500s. And I can take that 100 up and I can break it up into 10 tens. Now, when my boys and girls do math, I always tell them just stick that one right in front of the number that you're giving it to. Sometimes you'll see people cross this off and rewrite the new number but I like to just do it this way. So now I have 10 here. Now, can I do zero minus eight in the ones place where I need to start yet? No, but look at what happens. I've got more on the floor still, but when I go next door, now I have 10. So now do I have something that I can give? I do. So if I take a 10 for my 10 tens, that leaves nine tens, and I can give that 10 right over here and now I have 10 minus eight, 10 minus eight is two. And over here, I have nine. Nine minus three is six. And if we look in the hundreds place, we have five minus four. Five minus four is one. Look at that, 162, just like I got when I used my mental strategy. Yep, that's right. Multiple ways to do the same problem. Boys and girls, I would like you to get something to write with and something to write on because I'm going to have you do a couple of the next problems with us. We're going to practice this um, vertical form of subtracting from multiples of zero. So go get your materials. You can pause this if you need to and then come right back. Okay, welcome back boys and girls. We are going to try 800 minus 371 together. This is what I would like you to do right now. I would like you to copy that problem onto your paper in vertical form. Go for it, I think you can do it. I love it. Lots of you know that because it's subtraction, we have to start with that 800 first. That's going to be the number on top in vertical form. Our subtraction sign goes off to the side, and then we stack hundreds, tens, and ones together. And that great big line at the bottom just means equals. Okay. I think most of you have that, so we are ready. And since we're subtracting in vertical form, we've got that subtraction poem. Mm -hmm. We always start where? In the ones place. And when we look in the ones place, we need to think about that subtraction poem. Is there more on the top or more on the floor? Ah, some of you got tricked. There is more on the floor. Sometimes kids think you can subtract from a zero, but you really can't. So one is greater than zero. Remember, whenever you have a multiple of 100 up here, you're going to have to regroup unless you have zeros down here. Okay, so 
since I don't have any money, I can't give my daughter a dollar. So I need to go next door and get 10 more. But when I go there, there's nothing there. So where do we go, boys and girls? You said the hundreds place, you are correct. Eight hundreds will become mm -hmm, seven hundreds. So let's cross off that eight and write the seven on top of it. All right, good job, everyone. Now we took that hundred and we're gonna break it into 10 tens. You can either cross off the zero and write 10 up here, or you can do my trick and just put the one right there in front of the zero so you can see right there it's a 10. Now, can we do zero minus one yet? Mm -mm. You still can't take one from nothing. So when we go next door, now we have it set up and now we can grab a 10 to help us. So 10 tens minus a 10 will become nine tens. And we give that 10 we just took over here, we break it up into 10 ones. So now we have 10 ones. And our 10 ones minus one one is 10 minus one. What is it? That's right, boys and girls, it's nine. You should have a nine there now. We're done in the ones place. Where are we going next? That's right, the tens place. We have nine tens minus seven tens. More on the top. That's right. No need to stop. Nine minus seven is. Two, awesome. I heard a lot of twos out there. Okay, now we're done in the tens place. We go to the hundreds place. That's right. Seven minus three. Ooh, ooh, I heard four out there. Four is correct. So we put the four in the hundreds place. And our answer is 429. Great job, boys and girls. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's grab our text box and I'll put that right over here for you. This time let's do, ooh, let's go big. Let's do 900 minus 430. All right. Let's see. I always have such a hard time getting my pencil back after I do that. That's oh, not what I wanted to do. So here's what I'm going to do. Sorry, boys and girls, I'm new to this too. I'm going to stop the share and share it again. That always gets me my pencil back. Okay. So we have 900 minus 430. So if we're working on doing this in vertical form, now I just want to say I probably would not solve this problem in vertical form. When you have a multiple of 100, it would be much easier to just do that arrow strategy, that counting back strategy, 900 minus 400, and then that answer minus 30. But we're going to do this in vertical form because that's what we're working on today. So let's write it in vertical form. Yep, you know what I'm gonna say. Make sure that you're stacking tens on top of tens and ones on top of ones and hundreds on top of hundreds. You should have something all nice and neat stacked up like that on your paper. Okay, here we go. Zero minus zero is, hmm. We didn't have to regroup for that one because there was a zero down here. I hinted at that in the last two problems. Zero minus zero is zero. Go ahead. If you don't have that zero on your paper already, write it. We always start in the ones place. We finish with the ones column. Now we move to the tens place. That's right, boys and girls. We have zero minus three. More on the top or more on the floor? More on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more is correct. Nine hundreds becomes eight hundreds. And we give that 10 to the zero. So now we have 10 minus three. Mm, you should know that one, ways to make 10. That's right, it's seven boys and girls. We're done in the tens place, we move to the hundreds place. Eight minus four is, yeah, that was easy, you got it. It's four. This time, when we were subtracting from a multiple of 100, we only had to regroup that one time. 
because the number we were subtracting had a zero in the ones place right here. You could have also done this mentally, 900 minus 400 is 500, and 500 minus 30 is 470. 470 is the correct answer. So let's do, eh, let's do one last one for today, and then we'll be done. Okay, let's start with 700, and let's subtract um, 200. 75. Okay. Go ahead and get that set up on your board, boys, or on your paper, boys and girls. I'm used to being in school with those whiteboards. 700 minus 275. We're going to stack it vertically so that we can do our paper and pencil math. All right, now, do you know where to start? Oh my gosh, if you said the ones place, I'm so proud of you right now. I'm gonna give you a minute and I want you to work on this. Go ahead and pause this screen and then when, you're, when you have this problem totally done, unpause it, okay? All right, go ahead and pause the screen. Okay, welcome back. You should have this problem totally worked out on your paper, and now I'm gonna work it out on my whiteboard, and we're going to see how you did with subtracting from a multiple of 100. So we always start, that's right, in the ones place. When I look in the ones place, I see zero minus five, more on the top or more on the floor, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more, Bye. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, somebody just said, don't panic, Mrs. Schreiber, why not? Oh, because we can go to the next neighbor. 700s can become 600s. Awesome, thanks everybody. It is important to stay calm when you have a problem. And we can give those 10 tens over here to our zero, and now we have 10 tens in the tens place. Can we do zero minus five yet? Nope, we still have more on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more, but now we have 10 tens here, and that can become nine tens. Don't know if you notice this, but every time we do this, this becomes nine tens. And you can break that 10 up into 10 ones, give the 10 ones to the zero ones, and now you have 10 ones. And 10 minus five, now we can do the ones place. 10 minus five is five, mm-hmm. And nine minus seven is two, and six minus two is four, for a total of 425. If you had 425 on your paper, give me a high five right here on the screen. Yeah, that's a lot of high fives, that's awesome. I hope you enjoyed this kind of regrouping um, in vertical form for the multiples of 100. Remember, you could also be using uh, mental strategies. 700 minus 200 is 500. 500 minus 70 is 430. And 430 minus 5 is 400, or 425. So two ways that you could do this. Tune in tomorrow because Mrs. Hughes has a little trick for vertical form with multiples of 100 that could save you a lot of time and effort if you wanna do them in vertical form. Getting good at just using that mental math, that arrow strategy, that'll help you too. All right, boys and girls, be sure to check out Freckle um, from my teacher and see if you have any assignments today and take care. Bye everybody.